take your spot, my It's Keston Carter, and you're checking out RadiantENT.com. My name is Keston Carter. I was born in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, raised in Long Island, New York. Um, model slash actor. Well, the thing is, you know, uh, acting. I, w I always pursued acting. Modeling was just something that uh, that uh, came along, and I've been having good luck with it. So that's what I've been holding with. But um, I started acting in as early as high school in theater arts class, and went from there to college and to where I am today. Yeah, yeah. Raising in the sun. <laughs> Well, it was, uh, somebody actually uh, approached me and um, my management and, and said that it would be a good idea to uh, do a calendar. It would be a good way to uh, get my face out there, and we just decided to do it. And ever since then, you know, as long as people keep buying, I'm going to keep pushing it out. Yeah, well, you know, in entertainment nowadays with the internet and all these different forms of media, word gets around quick. So, you know, uh, I was surprised, but, you know, not too surprised. Well, my, I've, I've grew as an actor. I've definitely been um, honing my craft and, and, uh, and uh, practicing as an actor, um, but as an individual, um, you learn from the experiences. So all the mistakes I made in my past, I learned from. So I guess I can say I'm a lot wiser man than uh, mm -hmm. I was as an actor. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't Can I do that? that? No. <laughs> and like, there's certain times where, like, you know, let's say if you're going for an audition and you uh, uh -huh. just, you know what I mean? If you go take lessons with your coach, or even if you're doing it at your house, you record yourself and you know go through the audition. But I don't just wake up every morning and go in the mirror and start acting <laughs> and looking at myself. <laughs> Yeah, it's the 2010 calendar, we've been working on it. Um, running a little late behind, but it should be out by October 2009. Um, shooting everywhere from Miami to all different places in the United States. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. You never know. I I I can't say um, you know, Brian McKnight, but um, you know, you never know where your career path takes you and where life takes you. But so I'll never say never. But do I see myself being some type of R and B singer? No. Uh, yeah, I guess I can I can carry it enough. <laughs> I can get by. Yes, I'm signed with a management agency, and I don't have an agent, but I do have a manager, and I do have a publicist. Uh, go to the bathroom and brush my teeth. Go in the bathroom and brush your teeth. What type of toothpaste you use? Uh, whatever it is in my, in my kitchen, my uh, bathroom, as long as it has whitening in it. I feel like it's working. Nah, this is on my teeth. Uh, I'm a simple guy. I mean, I don't really, I'm not big into clubs and lounges and stuff like that. 
because when I'm working, I'm normally working in sometimes, you know, when I do appearances and clubs and lounges and stuff. So on my downtime, I just basically like to do simple stuff. I can go to the movies, go grab something to eat, just hang out outside if it's nice outside. If it's cold outside or if it's raining, just watch a movie. You know, hang out with someone that, you know, good friends, good people. I drink a protein shake, uh, and depending on my day, uh, I, uh, I might eat. I might eat breakfast. I might eat eggs. Um, but every something that's mandatory is my protein shake as soon as I wake up in the morning. I got to turn around and look. Um, Blood Diamond, um, American Gangster, Blood Gump, I Am Sam, Thor, uh, Troy, Gladiator. Forrest Gump. <laughs> that movie was so well told, and and Tom Hanks' acting was just so on point. It was it was, it was a great movie. There's so much. I mean, I don't I don't have any one particular favorite, but the first song that does pop come into mind is Thriller. But he has so much great hits that you know I really don't. I really don't have one particular favorite. That's a tough question. Um, chicken cutlet, uh, fried, uh, broccoli, and broccoli or string beans and mashed potatoes. Grease. <laughs> Uh, probably, I would say, I guess finding, finding, uh, family, I guess, you know, finding good people that actually like you for you and not for what you do or how you look. Very much so. Very much single and on the market. Yeah, I date, uh, from time to time. I, uh... I'm not dating anyone exclusively, like have one I don't really have like one person that I'm exclusively seeing, but I do date, I do hang out with very good girls and and uh some cool people. Confident. Um but not necessarily, you know, a fully confident person because sometimes when you're overconfident, uh you could uh limit yourself. And um, which is never good, but I think somebody being comfortable with who they are, flaws and all, um, and with that, you know, comes honesty, and and with that comes them developing their own style, their own swagger, and even though it might be different from everyone else's, as long as that that's their thing, I find it sexy. That's that's something that I go through a lot, um, especially like if I'm meeting someone that I that I uh, that I like or I, you know I want like, that I could uh, potentially be seeing, um, you know, or that, you know that met me you know when I was working or something of that nature. A lot of the times they uh you know they think that I'm conceited or cocky. Um, I mean, I can't say I deal with it. I, I try my best to deal with it, but I'm not going to overcompensate for your preconceived notion that that I'm cocky or conceited. You know what I mean? I'm going to do my best to show you who I am, but I'm not going to overly compensate just because your your perception is messed up of me. 